Welcome back, Seth Bling here. My channel just reached 300,000 subscribers, which is another huge milestone. It feels like I'm having one of these every month. And I want to talk about that in a little bit. But first, I want to show you a really, really cool trick that I came up with. I'm holding this Power 4 Punch 2 bow. This is You can just get this from Normal Enchanting. And I am standing in front of a huge chasm. Yep, yep, yep. Oh, yeah. I'm going to cross this chasm with nothing but the bow. All right, here we go. Yes. All right. Uh, so yeah, this chasm is 24 blocks wide. Uh, I actually, there is a one block drop from one end to the other. Uh, I've, cr I've crossed a 24 block chasm without any trap before, but this is just a little bit easier and it was, it was taking me a lot of, a lot of tries to get across, but, uh, it's definitely not very, let me, let me show you again over here. Uh, here we go. Yep. Ah, oh, come on. Stupid tree. Okay, so obviously this trick uses the punch two effect on the bow to try and hit yourself forward. And the way I accomplish that with the first jump is I, uh, I kind of aim up and forward oops, and, uh, and do a very short draw and then let the arrow hit me in the back. It is actually important that you get the arrow to hit you in the back. If I just shoot the arrow sh straight up, it can actually knock you backwards, it can knock you forwards or off to the side. Um, it's kind of random which direction will hit you. So. Uh, so you have to hit yourself in the back if you want to be propelled forward. And so that's why I'm aiming up and forward and hitting myself in the back. Uh, you can also kind of do like a jump and do a short draw at the top of the jump, aim downwards. It's kind of hard to do reliably though. Mm. There we go. Uh, or even if you do a very short draw, you can just walk forward. And that's actually could be a faster way to get around if you're, if you're practiced at a little bit. Because you can move pretty quickly with that punch bow knocking you forward. Um, although I suspect maybe if you're jumping, you could go even faster because that punch effect pushes you even farther forward. Notice that I'm taking a lot of damage from this, of course, because in order to get a punch two bow, you have to use a really high level enchantment, and so this has sharpness four as well, or power four as well. Anyway, so the first jump, if you're trying to cross a large chasm like this, is is like I showed you. Uh, aim up and forward, very short draw. And then the second one is you kind of point forward, and um, there you go, like that. So you get you can get two jumps in midair. I suspect because each each time you hit yourself, you get kind of a little you get boosted upwards just a little bit, and so I suspect it might be possible to hit yourself uh, multiple times in midair and just fly fly across the map, jump any length of chasm, and just be a freaking bird. But <laughs> I don't know. I've only managed to, to cross a gap, like I said, 24 meters wide. This is not even close to that. Uh, but, I, yeah. <laughs> so, it can be done, and it's fun to try it on your own, but it's I definitely wouldn't use this trick to try and cross a real chasm in a in a tense situation, because it's it's really hard. It's like it's very easy to miss. It's more of like a, a little game you can play with yourself, or, you know, if you want to compete with your friends. And... Uh, it does tend to work a bit differently on multiplayer servers because uh, there's lag involved in you know when the arrow gets sent to the server and stuff like that. So uh, just be forewarned about that. Anyway, that's that's the cool trick that I wanted to show you guys. It's just a fun little fun little way to use the punch two bows. I personally, I don't know punch punch two is eh, it can be kind of useful, but uh, it, it's it, it might actually be really useful if you're if you can figure out how to get around really quickly with it. Not that I necessarily know how exactly. Anyway, so that's it for the, the cool trick portion of the video. I want to thank you guys uh, once again. Seems like I'm doing this a lot nowadays. Uh, thank you guys for subscribing to me and, and following me. Hit 300,000 subscribers. It's a big milestone and uh, it really means a lot. Uh, I, I, I love what I'm doing. This is my full-time job. I, I've mentioned that before. But, you know, this is like the, basically the best job somebody could ask for. And um, I, I just I get to do what I love, and, and you guys appreciate it too. I think it's, it's a great win-win situation where, you know, you guys get, get all, this, all these videos for free uh, and all these maps that I make and stuff, and, you know, I get to have a kick-ass job. <laughs> Advertisers get to advertise because, you know, that's what they do. 
uh, and just I don't know, everyone wins. It's, I think it's a, it's just really healthy healthy thing, and um, and I'm I'm glad you guys stick by me, and I really appreciate all the support I get, and uh, I, I do get a lot of support. It's it's really nice. I, I like looking at the comment sections. Usually, I mean, there's you know, okay, sometimes there's some people yelling at each other and uh, and stuff, <laughs> but. But usually people aren't aren't mean to me, so I like I like that. I you know I, I think I think you guys are, are very supportive of me, and and not all, not every YouTuber has that, so I'm very thankful for that. Thankful to have you guys. You guys seem like a on the whole a you know calm and collected crowd, and uh, I, yeah, I like you guys. <laughs> I think I'll keep making videos for a while. So really appreciate it. I guess that's all I all I have to say in my my rambling, but. Um, looking forward to my next milestone video, and thanks for watching.